then bury him? Yes. How will you explain his death? We'll simply say that he left Collinsport. Everyone knows what kind of man he was. No one will doubt that he deserted Millicent. And Millicent, what will you say to her? I've gone to her room to tell her that he has gone away. She barely remembered who he was. She doesn't remember him at all. She remembers that she had a suitor named Lieutenant Forbes. And that's all. She remembers that he deceived her, and she thinks she sent him away. She doesn't remember their marriage? No. Well, I'm glad of that. I will have the marriage annulled. As far as history concerned, it will have never happened. You're trembling. Am I? You have the silver bullets, haven't you? Yes. You have your pistol? Yes. Then use it. I can't. Not here. Not now. You must. Or I will go on destroying. I know that. Well, then, take out your pistol and fire the silver bullets through my heart and end Angelique's curse forever. In the morning, when you're in your coffin, I've instructed Ben and Briggs to carry your coffin back to the secret room in the mausoleum. At sunrise, I want you to go there. And then you will do what you must. Yes. And I'll know peace, eternal peace. I don't know what lies beyond the grave, but I hope you will have some kind of peace. And what will happen to you? I'll survive. And Millicent? She probably won't recover. I'm going to take care of her as if she were my own daughter. And Daniel? I intend to make him my legal heir. I will adopt him. I, I hope that I will be a better father to him than I was to you and Sarah. Oh, Sarah, if only I could undo what I have done. No one will ever know about you or about the events that took place in this house after that cursed Angelique came here. As far as I'm concerned, you and Angelique were never married. But everyone in Collinsport knows that we were married. History won't. I'll have every mention of her name struck from the family record. Naomi will have had a natural death, as will have Jeremiah. There will have been no duel. How I wish everything you're saying could have been true. It will be true in terms of history. All the world will ever know about you is that you are my son and you went to England. That is all. It will be daylight soon. I know. I must go in a moment, but before I do that, I must ask you to do two things for me. What are they? First of all, free Ben. Free Ben? He deserves his freedom. He's a good man. He has been loyal to me ever since all of this started. And your second request? Miss Winters is to be hanged at dusk. You must do something for her. You're the only one who can. Please try to save her. I've already tried and failed. I couldn't get Judge Hanley to listen to me. Then send a note to the governor. Use your prestige. You might be able to get a, a, a stay in the execution and a, and a new trial. All right. Everything you ask will be done. Thank you. Must go. Barnabas. Yes. I. I was never known to be able to show much affection. Oh, don't show it now. Forget that I am your son. After today, forget that I ever existed. I can't do that. You must. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye.
college. Stokes. Did you do it? I couldn't. I knew you didn't. I, I didn't hear a shot. He was my son. He was my heir. The heir to everything I've tried to accomplish all my life. Whatever has happened to him, I couldn't forget that. I understand. But what are you going to do now? There is only one thing I can do now, since I can't destroy him. What? Confine him to his coffin. Keep him there forever. You mean there's a way of doing that? Yes, I found out when I was in Boston. If a silver cross is affixed to the inside lid of his coffin facing him, Barnabas cannot move. But if you knew that... Why did I even consider shooting him with silver bullets? Aye. Because it would have meant his final destruction. The alternative is dangerous. Dangerous? If anyone should get in this place and open the lid of this coffin, Barnabas would be able to roam the world again. But that'll never happen, sir. It might. It's a possibility. I need your help, Stokes. What do you want me to do? I have a silver cross. I want you to affix it to the inside of the lid of his coffin, facing Barnabas. All right. Find chains. Bind the coffin. Bind it securely. I will. Now do what must be done and try to forget. I will, sir. I'll try. I want to forget. So do I. Let us go to the house. I will get you the cross. All right. Stokes must be finished by now. Goodbye, Barnabas. I hope you find peace, some kind of peace. Goodbye, Mr. Barnabas. Bye. 